Hey, what is up guys? My name is Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that encounter in the top right corner of the screen. Basically the way it works is if I press a button on my keyboard, it goes up by however many increments I want. And if I press a different button, it'll go back down one. And uh, if I press a different button, I can reset it back to zero. It's going to go from 11 to zero here in a second. Boom, there it goes. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The purpose behind having it is if you are a shiny hunting YouTuber such as myself or A-Drive or any of the other greats out there, uh, and you were, say, perhaps shiny hunting a Ryolu, as I have in the display box right above me, every time I would hatch an egg or encounter this Pokemon in-game, I would simply click whatever key it is. I'd, it would go up by one, and that, I would keep track of how many encounters I had of that Pokemon uh, by doing so and it's a really simple thing to do. This is my first ever tutorial video So if I butcher this I apologize, but I hope you guys will bear with me basically you're gonna go to Google um, and from Google From Google there we go record my desktop for you guys from Google You are gonna type in death counters and soundboard. You don't need the soundboard. You can probably find a death counter uh, without doing this, however, this is what I typed in because I wanted the soundboard as well, and they combine them into one thing so that it works even better. Once I scrolled down and I found this website right here, it is called The Coalition, and I actually like this website. I tested it myself. This is the one I use for my streams. I do recommend it. It's pretty easy to use. You're basically going to scroll down, click the download button, and download it to a save file uh, wherever you might be able to find it in the future. Um, and then once you download it, you're going to want to open the program. I've saved mine to my hotbar down here, but you open the program and you're going to see something kind of like this. I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that I previously had so I can show you guys how to set it up from scratch. Basically, you're going to right click and hit add. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name mine encounter. And then you're going to choose where you want this text file to save to because you're going to need it as a text file. So basically, I'm going to hit these three little dots on the right over here. I've already got this where I want it to be, so I'm just going to name it whatever I want. You can name it a certain thing. I'm just going to go ahead and name my encounter uh, and then save that file there, and I'm good to go. That way it has a path of where to go from there. We'll need that for later. Now I'm going to take my count, and I'm going to set it to whatever I want. I'm going to put that one back to zero, and I'm going to choose how many increments I want it to go up or down when I, be, when I hit certain keys. When I'm all done, I'm going to hit the red X, and now it's, it's pretty much set up. I'm going to go to settings here. And this is where you can change the keys if you want to. Um, so if I want to change my increments of going up, like which key it is, I just click these three little bot, three little uh, dots over on the right, and I can choose the key. Whatever key you hit next is what it's going to be. So I'll hit space bar. It changes it to space. Now every time I hit the space bar, it's going to go up one. And you can do that for all of these. Anything in here you want, same as the sounds. Um, but I'll show you guys that in a different video. So I'll change mine back to the way I like it. And now from here, you're, pre you're pretty much set up. I would go into Streamlabs and OBS, um, go back to Sword. Now you guys can see me again, yay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I would, I'm going to go ahead and delete my counter from this scene. And I'm going to hit the plus button over here, right? So you guys wouldn't have anything set up. You're going to hit the plus button, and you're going to hit the text file. You're going to hit text GDI, um, and that's very important. And I'm going to add that as a source. You can name it whatever you want, just click add source on the next screen, and then you're going to look in the middle here and it's going to say uh, read from file. I'm going to minimize this so you guys can see it. Actually, let me open that back up and switch over to this one so you guys can see it. Here it'll say read from file. After you click see settings for the text GDI, click read from file browse and now click go to whatever that file was you saved it as earlier. So I saved it as counter. I'm going to use it as counter. I'm going to click open. Now it's 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 following that path of that text in here. You can change anything else you want, any of the other settings, make it bigger, smaller, the font, all that stuff. You can change all that if you want. I don't particularly care. I'm just going to click done, and it's going to bring me back here. Now, as you can see, uh, the text file is up here. I'm going to highlight it. It's in the top left corner over here, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so I can actually grab it. And then I can move it around, arrange it anywhere I want. Now this is really useful. You can use this technique uh, if you were in, you know, tracking your deaths in a game as, such as Skyrim or something. Every time you died, you could track how many times you died. You could track whatever you wanted, basically. Um, it works for encounters. It can work for a lot of things. 
Uh, now let's say you were trying to complete your Pokédex, right? You're trying to get the shiny charm. So you want to tell the, your streamers how many Pokémon you've caught out of the Pokédex. So there's 400 Pokémon in Sword and Shield, roughly estimated. There's probably more or less, depending on which special Pokémon you have. But we'll say there's about 400 in there. So to have 400, we are going to go back to our Death Counter and Soundboard here. And I'm going to hit Edit. Right-click and hit Edit. Now down here under Format, where it says 0... I'm just going to put a slash and then 400, right? And that'll tell, this right here is going to show me what it's going to display like in the Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're using Streamlabs or you're using just OBS by itself, all of this should work the same, by the way, just a little side note. So I'll go back into Streamlabs, um, go back into here so you guys can see. Now, every time I hit a key, it'll go up by one. Uh, but the 400 stays the same. So that way I can keep track. Maybe somebody, you know, I'm trying to get 10 donations today and somebody dropped a donation. I'm like, bam, we've got one out of 10 donations today. Or maybe we want 10 subscribers. Boom, I can keep track of it that way. Um, the options are unlimited. You can do whatever you want with it. Have a little fun. Um, and that's pretty much basically it. Uh, you guys just do it as much as you want. Put a little border around it. It looks a little fancier. Um, it's real simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, it is my first one, and I hope I didn't butcher it too bad. Um, if you guys did enjoy it and it was helpful in some way, all I ask is that you drop a like below and you subscribe to my channel. And, well, I'll see you guys in the next video or when I live stream and shiny hunt Pokemon myself. Bye, guys.